Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Uh, I wanted to just take a couple of moments and share with you guys some of the finalized uh, parts for the new 16 scale Andy's Hobby Headquarters M4A3E8 Sherman. And you are looking at two of the finalized parts right now that we're gonna take a closer look at and show you all the incredible detail that they've put into both of these. So we have our upper hull as well as our turret now, and I'm gonna show you those right now. So let's get started. So I thought I would just take a couple of moments here and give you an update on some of the details that are being added to the uh, the 16 scale Sherman that I have coming out. And literally about 10 minutes ago, this showed up at uh, my doorstep here. And this is the final edition of the upper hull with all of the welds on it and all the other casting marks and details. And I am blown away. I think they did an extremely good job doing all this. And what I thought I'd do is just take a couple of minutes and share it with you. To start off with right here, I'll just show you the cast texture that is on these, uh, this whole front edge right here. You can see it right in there because that was actually molded as a, uh, a separate piece it was, or cast as a separate piece on the real tank. And then you'll also notice too, all of the welds and even the double stacked welds that are right in through here, like the real thing would be, and it's probably a little bit easier to see them double stack welds on the side here, holding on the glasses plate, and also the welds that go around the ball. Now, one thing I should just point out, once I got this immediately, the only thing that I've done to this is I went and sprayed the entire uh, upper hull here with some Mr. Servicer 1000. And the only reason I did that is because that neutral gray color is very very flat and makes the details pop a lot better on camera so nothing else has been changed with this is literally just out of the box but with a little gray primer on it to help everything kind of pop out and since we're talking about detailing you can see some of the cast marks in here and even down to the casting numbers on this ring in here right there hopefully you can see them pretty well but uh it's pretty incredible, all the detail. And then, of course, there's casting marks here. The weld, even on the inside, where you're never going to really see it, but you know it's there on it. And kind of look at all the little, the little welds around these pegs here. These are the little brackets, or part of the bracket, that holds the side fender on. The weld is all complete on there, so just a beautiful job. Now, I want to point out something to you that I didn't actually po point out to you on the, uh, the original test model, but I can show it to you. So you can see this little ring that goes around the, uh, the area, and it's like a little, little catch-all where the, uh, the turret will go. But you'll notice that they've left out this piece right here, and there's two little pen marks there that will be able to glue that piece into place, as well as the little piece of ring around here. And the reason those are molded separately, because it would have been easy actually just to mold them into place, but we would lose a little bit of detail. And I'm going to show you that little bit of detail right now. What I've done is I've switched over to the very first test shot. So all the welds are not on here or any of that other stuff. But these two little important pieces of detail, they're minor, but they're very, very cool, I think. And that is this piece right here. Now, remember, this hasn't been sanded or filled in. It's just been glued into place. And the same with this piece. But do you see that right there? And that little hole right there? Those are the holes that are on the real vehicle. And that is a drainage hole for both of these. So imagine in real life, rain comes down, or in the case of right here, the fuel filler, they spill some fuel, it would pool up in this little, this little reservoir here or up inside of here. But on the real vehicle, there are some weep holes that you see right here. And the only way to get those are to mold those pieces separately and give that just a little tiny bit of extra detail that just makes things like this in 16 scale really pop out. And that is why those are separate pieces inside there. And since, and since we're showing you some finalized parts right here, I also have the finalized turret, which I can show you now. And this has all of the texture in place. As you can see here, those are our casting numbers up on the top there. And a beautiful cast texture all the way around. This too has just been sprayed with uh, Mr. Surfacer. Once again, strictly just to... Uh, flatten out the surface there so you can see all of the detail the upper and bottom now fit together really well a nice tight fit on that and also i'll point out you'll see 
our stamp inside there. Andy's Hobby Headquarters 001 kit. And this is sprue E. And this one, I believe, well, this one, this one had the other sprue on the cross member in here. This one is F actually right here. And then, of course, the hull. Let's see what the one, I didn't actually look at the hull, see what the hull is. There we go. The hull is sprue C, or it's off of sprue C, but this is exactly how it is going to come here. So those are two of the more important um, details that now I can actually share with you. So we've got our welds in the place. And of course, all the welds on all the little tiny parts like this area in here and all those other really important things are all gonna be on there as well. As you can see right here, they're just uh, really doing an incredible job. And I thought I would just take a couple of moments to share that with you. Remember, these are still available at the introductory price on our website, andyshhq.com. You can pre-order one right now. Uh, and that's because production is is get coming along and from what I understand we could have production done uh, within the next three to four weeks complete where they are boxed and ready to go and be shipped to the USA and of course Europe and around the world so it still has a little bit more of shipping time but the actual production time is uh, is moving along rather quickly and we're excited to share that with you so you can go on our website, andyshhq.com in the United States and Canada, and our website, andyshhq.eu, if you live in Europe or anywhere else around the world. So I want to thank you guys. I just, like you said, wanted to just give you a couple of uh, couple quick shots at how the, the texturing has come along. Uh, this is something I've been thinking about for the last... Oh, I don't know how many months now, but it's so incredible to actually finally see this in person. And I'm super excited to share it with you. So I want to take this opportunity to thank you as always for watching. Please stay tuned because I have many more videos coming.